Hey guys, and welcome to this new Substance Designer video. Um, today I'm going to make a small tutorial um, that will show you how to use one specific node that we'll speak later, and uh, more precisely how to do um, hammer bits um, uh, substance. It's uh, like hammer bits generator. So for people who don't know what uh, hammer beds or hammer bits, I don't know how to say that. Is it's um, at the beginning. Um, a, to, uh, a toy for tools just to make like a uh, small shape like this but uh, as it's really minimalist uh, it has been taken by the geeks and the, the gamers because it, it's really close to uh, pixel art and you can do crazy cool stuff with it so uh, I thought uh, yesterday I was thinking what I can do in substance and I say okay let's try to do something like that it can be cool so basically uh, the, the end of this tutorial you should have something where you can put an image in input and you will have something to define the pattern and you can choose the amount of hammer bits bits let's I think I would go with hammer bits that you want to put inside so as you see they are really each one of them has a unique color which makes it really specific and once again you can specify how much you want to put in it okay so let's start this is a really easy one um, uh, this tutorial should be uh, everyone who knows the interface will be able to do that so first let's do a new graph new graph okay we're going to get to have some fun so you want to put it relative to parent so you can choose the, the size later and we have everything we, we need so here we go so we have our, our four inputs here viewport you know how it works so what we want to do now is uh, first of all we know uh, because I show, show it to you that we will have one imp one parameter that we want to set up so we'll set it now uh, because it will be help us in the future so I will put it um, definition um, or bits number bits bits density mm, I think I will label it the same I do it now because it will be used at, uh, at multiple points so it should help so in order to do that first you need to do the 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 primary shapes of the of the bits so what you do you do it really simply you take a shape here this one and you may have guessed it you go with a disk first uh, what I will do in order to work in better condition I will directly change the the size here because by default it's 256 but it's a bit small uh, as you see as we set it in parent relative to parent it changed everything in the graph so I would put to 124 so what I do is I make this this small uh, square uh, or square sorry circle what I will do as I want to make not a circle but uh, I don't know even how to say but uh, an empty anchor circle sorry for my English I do another one that I reduce if I do I think control shift I can do a bit like in Photoshop except that it's alt shift in Photoshop I can do this way here I don't want it to tile so what I will do I go in the tiling mode here I put to absolute no tiling better so and right now what I will do is I will use a blend node here and simply subtract the small to the small circle to the big one so copy subtract it's not bad uh, we just want it a bit uh, thicker so we will reduce even more the size of this even more I think it's not bad like that we'll, we can adjust later and right now what we want also 
actually where the magic happened is with a new node I think which comes with 4.5 or 4.6 something like that which is called the tile sampler uh, this one has been made by uh, Nicolas Vierman uh, in a algorithmic a good friend and um, this is really awesome as you will see so for our example we we need a tile sampler color because at the end we will color the, the tiling so how you do that first you have the you put the pattern input here. It really looks. You will see many parameters which are similar with to the other ones. But the cool thing with this one is, as you see, you can make some um, parameter variation ac according to maps. So it means that the darker, the lower, and the brighter, the higher. And this is really cool. And another one you will see it is the color map input that we will use for sure. So let's see how what we can do. So first you select that and the pattern is the input. So right now sorry, it's pattern input. As you see right now we have a lot of circle. I will put one one. So we have a lot of circle which is what we want. Uh, another thing that right now we want to control as I say is the X amount is the Y amount is what would control the definition of the pattern and this is definitely something that we want to control and we always want X to be equal to Y so what we'll do is we will check that uh, hmm, something is not there for some reason yes I know why is because here you know it's integer that is expecting so what you have to do I have to go to my the parameter I define and I say this one would be integer 1 always so here we go so right now if I go back to here and I can say okay bits density x amount will be defined by bits density and y amount as well so as you see you see just one, one circle right now one bit one bit so you go here and what you can do now is just to set up the minimum to maybe two, one, two, maximum to one hundred, and let's define the default to uh, forty. Not bad. So, so we have forty-nine circles, and now that's where the magic happens. The cool thing with the tile sampler is you can, as we said, take a color map input. So it means that whatever image we put, uh, color image we put um, each uh, its uh, pattern here will be colon according to that but uh, when we mean color it will take one color, it will take one pixel so that's really cool for example so to do that what you do you just click here and you say add a color image input that you plug here so, so far no, nothing so it doesn't do anything so right now what you can do is take for example one image and as you see it does nothing which is normal you will see why because in the parameters you have a lot of things here things here when you scroll down you see you have position rotation and color we go to color and here what you have is mass max threshold max random so the threshold if I'm not wrong now it's not this one we go lower color map color power okay here we go so here is the color par parameterization multiplier so basically what it say it takes the color of your map here and apply it to your model so here we go uh -huh. so here we go basically uh, <laughs> we did most of the job here so can do that. Uh, what we can do right now is uh, some tweaking. So, for example, we, we could say, okay, I want a normal map. So, from that, what we can extract, um, I think I can do a grayscale conversion. Mm. Mm. So, we just do gradient and let, 
let me check how I can do that. Um, let, let's put an histogram scan. Here, what I am going to do is just to fit the normal roughness metallic. Uh, first, metallic, it will be easy. You just have to put a uniform color to black because it's non metallic. So, this is done. Uh, it's not updated yet because I every time you change and you add a new parameter here, it has to be added here. So, for example, I, I think it's not updated. Actually, I didn't change, so maybe it is. We'll see. Um, so, this one, I could click on D to minimize it. I, I want an histogram scan, so if I do that, okay, so here is our grayscale conversion. So here I should have something completely black. So if I move here, I should have something really nice, and I will contrast it a bit. And I will use this as the map that I put to create a normal map. So if I do this and that, okay. So here we have something which starts to be interesting. I will directly change the parameter a bit lower so we see the circle in a better way here. And let's do the roughness. So what I will do is I will put the black quite matte and the the beds uh, like plastic. It is plastic, so a bit more shiny. So I, I will use that again. Uh, this time with the level that I will invert first. So right now, oops, this goes here and this go here. Okay, so here you have something that works already. I will just be a bit less dramatic on the black because here you see there is nothing looks like almost charcoal so if I go here we say don't be I will cap the the roughness and I will also cap the brightness so, so here we go so right now as you see it was quite easy if you want uh, what you can do is to add um, some other parameters to add a bit some a bit of uh, emboss here that could work. It's not completely useful uh, after you, you tweak it the way you want. The important thing is right now you can really tweak the density like that. You can and you can. Do you have any input? So you you can expose the way you want. You can. Uh, what can I put? Uh, as I say, if I put, you can put my. Yoshi, as you saw already, Rayman, Rayman. Maybe Rayman needs more definition because and I, as you see here, it's also the image we, which lacks definition. So I will go in the base parameter and put to forty, two thousand forty-eight. Give something better. So here it is, uh, it was quite fast, I hope you, you enjoyed it. After what you just have to do is to save your work, uh, you go, you save your package and you just, you just publish, not, not this one actually, this one, tag and you can publish it and, uh, and then you will have the SBS AR and you can make like uh, the pattern you want the way you want. Personally I find that it's nicer when you you lower the density to something like that for example it doesn't work really well for Rayman but for for Yoshi it really works it gives something cool so and once again as you can see all the circle has one color this is not a like a, a blend of the color below it really takes one pattern giving a, a unique tint and doing so it gives this, uh, this cool aspect after if you find that maybe the, the, the beads are not here that it's not uh, thick enough so you can change it once again and make it way thicker like that 
so it gives uh, another style ok so um, I hope you liked it uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to put them in the in the comments I will be happy to answer and um, I think this is a good starting point for you to add some stuff like a, like an number, a bevel or whatever you want um, once again the, the key I really recommend you to, to try the tie sampler and tie sampler color made by Nicolas Vierman it really really it is really powerful and you can do lots of stuff with that um, I think I will redo uh, a future tutorial on grass uh, with this uh, tie sampler color just to, to show you what can be done thanks a lot and once again if you have any question don't hesitate you can put them in the comments <laughs>